Welcome to AFC 16. We're here at Yungala Dam, ready for the first round. It's going to be a unique couple of days. We're not the rookies anymore, so we're really looking forward to seeing if we can give BCF a run for their money. So I'm fishing with Mark Ely this year. He's the uh, AFC Series 16 rookie, and I want to do my best to show him what this Mackay region has to offer, as well as what we can do as a team together to try and win that uh, AFC Series 16 title. Yeah, we've been blessed with the opportunity to come back for a bit of redemption. Last year we were very happy with how we performed. Um, you know, we were competitive as rookies, but we're coming for one thing and that's the trophy. Oh mate, I am so pumped. First AFC, fished a lot of tournaments over my years, but um, I'll tell you what, this is probably the most nervous I've ever been, I reckon. <laughs> All right, count three, two, one. Go. The plan this morning is to run to the back of the dam, up the river, but we also know that BCF are heading to the same area. Yeah, so we're on the way to the first spot. You know, we've got a game plan and we've got to get there first. We've got to get to the mouth of the river because that'll dictate the rest of the day. As I'm heading up the dam, Liam's just on our outside. I'm watching him, watching him, watching him and thinking I'm going to get the good inside run here, like nice straight through, heading to the river. And then I look over my shoulder and there's Team Jack Lynx off our back corner. And I'm yelling at Liam, I'm like, they're on our left, they're on our left. We're going through the trees and I'm sort of looking over my left and right and you can't really see the other boats. I didn't want to look at the GPS too much because I really wanted to focus on the trees and I noticed that I was a little bit offline off the river. So I adjusted my line and just picked a direct line straight towards the river. All of a sudden, he's just taking a big left-hander and just straight in front of us and we've hit his wake at full noise. I think the boys, I might have saw them in my peripheral vision over my right shoulder, but um, they, they looked like they, they sort of come around a bit more and picked a bit of a, an easier line. And I just kept going. I wanted to get to that river as fast as we could. I'm just like, come on, mate. Like, just look over your shoulder a little bit. But he's got the inside run and I couldn't get back on my track and uh, they've beat us. They've beat us into the river. In all reality, there is quite a bit of timber in Yungla and there's so many different lines you can take. But knowing that Healy could see us and I could see Healy was talking to Liam and I'm, I'm just not quite sure, but I think at the end of the day, I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt. That's gonna get hit. Yeah. So we get to the river first, we've won that battle and there's three distinct spots up that river. Oh, fine. Yeah. If you're the first boat in there, you can then choose whether you pull in the spot one or spot two. I spoke the previous night to the rookie. And I said, if we get a shot at it, we're gonna to go to either spot two or three. If we push from spot two and go to spot three, so be it. But if we get them both, that's a bonus. Because we got to that river first, we dictated who went where and we got what we wanted to do. Ultimately, I wanna protect spot three. So at any sign or notice of the other team coming up the river, I'm cracking on and I'm going to spot three. Is that, oh, he cut me off right as I was going through the shortcut. So rolling up to our first spot, not our ideal plan, but we knew there were still birds there, so you know we're still confident we could put a few in the boat really quickly. Oh, missed him. Team BCF had gone down the river, so it was nice and quiet. We could see there was birds in the trees. We kind of knew that, that we were going to catch. So it wasn't long, I think it was only two casts or three casts, and then immediately felt the bite, set the hook, number one's coming in. So the idea is exactly what Matt's just done. The birds that are sitting high in the trees are pooing and as literally as soon as your lure hits the water, they think it's poo and they just climb all over it. So you're trying to get as close to that tree as possible and just draw that reaction strike straight out of the birds, uh, out of the fish. Oh, he's in a tree. Come on, man. Here we go. Come up. Yes. Hang in. 
There we go. Number one off the back. It's good to get the monkey off the back early. So Matt's just measuring his fish, doing his thing, and I've gone back in just to the next tree. Birds just flying away and yeah, working it out nice and slowly, twitching it off the bottom and got the dunk. Yep. All right. Yep. Scores a 38. Yeah, little fella. Hang on, mate. These aren't the size we're after, but we're happy to have them in the boat nice and early. They're uh, just a cool little fish, but we need bigger ones. Let him go. It's a really good start to the day. We'd slowly move down maybe another 20 metres. There were still some birds left. We were running out of the good area, but we also noticed that BCF weren't in the spot we were trying to get to. So we thought, we're going to be all right here. We're going to fill a limit. So what we're doing, while they're fishing so quick too, like these shags, as soon as that sun pokes up, they're going to take off. So although we are fishing very quick, we're just trying to get as much productive fishing done as we can in this low light. And then once that sun's up and the shags move away, then we can start really hammering and probing these areas for everything they're worth. So AFC Series 16, a pretty cool format this year. We've got two rounds. Our first round's at Yungala Dam. It's your four biggest sooties. And then um, the next day we're off to Kinchant Dam. Four hours on each waterway, so you really need to manage your time well. About 10, 15 minutes into the tournament and we're fishing our way through this timber. And just on the back of a tree on this timber, I just saw a swirl and I've just pitched my plastic in and probably no longer than it's hit the surface, bang, I'm on. Yep. Nice, mate. Good work. I'm so nervous. I'm going weak at the knees. I'm not sure what I should do with a drag. Do I tighten it? Do I loosen it? You know, I'm just panicking. And Liam's like, it's all right, it's all right, just get it in. He's got the net and wound it in, and uh, yeah, it was a good fish. Nice well done, buddy. Well done. Yeah, on the board. So catching that first fish is such a relief. Being the rookie and all, I just wanted to get some runs on the board, and it was great just having that one. There we go, first fish of the day, 40 centimetres. Not a, not a huge fish, but it's a good start. Four of them we'll be happy with. From what I know of Mark Healy, he's a brim specialist. So he's obviously good at what he does. He's won a grand final, he's won some other rounds on the brim circuit. So this guy knows what he's doing. So me and Mitch are, are definitely keen to see what he can do for Team BCF. Well done, bro. Well done. Well done. It's a good start. I've never felt a sweatier hand in my life. <laughs> Oh, I'm so pumped, so nervous. I've left that for you, just cast it in there, Debbie. Mojo's with you, mate. There you go. You'll get crunched here. Watch this. Yeah. Get in there. Little guy again. Very small. Very small. It's quite a funny looking fish, this guy. It looks a bit like Liam. Yeah, number three is in the boat, and we kind of <laughs> run out of a, it was a little productive area, but it had kind of run out. So we thought we'll jump in the boat, make a quick run, try and get in front of the guys and get up ahead of them in the river. All right, let's go, let's go. They're coming. <laughs> so making the run up there, we sort of get halfway between where they are and where we were. Liam's done the old sneaky, sneaky again and started the outboard and pushed on to get to his next area too, which is just, Cut us off again. Oh, they're going, man. Look. Ah We've missed out on both areas, and uh, yeah, BCF's got the whole run of the creek. Well played, boys. Well played. We out. We might just leave them and go and do these. I reckon the bigger fish are out here anyway. It's a big system. <laughs> Two boats fishing in each other's pockets. It kills me. So we'd moved from the river out to the basin. The birds are in the trees, same thing, everything's nice and quiet. Wasn't long, Mitchell throws in a really nice cast and bang, that'll catch. Yep. Oh, he's a bit bigger. Yeah. Oh. Good. Yeah, he's I think big, so. He's a big fish in ones. Yes, Mitchell. Yes, Mitchell. Yes, Mitchell. Well done. Great stuff. Plans played off. 
we knew straight away it was one of those good fish that we're really targeting and, and that kind of set the tone for the day. He's a little bit bigger model, we still want bigger, but that's our four fish limit. So now we're upgrading and it's still only early. We knew it was probably gonna be a bit slower than what we wanted up the river, but the quality was there and that's really, to win a tournament, you need the quality. A lot better class of fish and uh, hopefully we've found them. There's still a lot of work to be done. The fish we have in our, in our bag, they're good fish, but they're nowhere near the fish we need to win. And like I said, we were competitive last year, but this year we're here for one thing, so we have to upgrade all these fish. Yeah, so we move up to the next spot. We've only got the one fish, um, but we did see the other guys approaching us, so we wanted to get to our main spot to catch those bigger fish. I'll go. I'll go on the tree. We start working this timber and I've just thrown one right at the base of the tree and let it settle. Just didn't get hit, usually get hit on the drop that time of the morning, but I didn't see anything, didn't feel anything. And I've just lifted up and there was just weight. And I'm thinking, oh, is this the weed? Have I caught the timber? It's just shaking its head. And then I was like, yeah, this is a good fish. Yep. I know. Yep. Yeah, it's a fish. <laughs> good work, buddy. Take your time. Mark's buckled. He's weak at the knees, and that's what a big sooty will do to you. I see this thing roll in the water, and I'm like, okay, this is the one we need at the net. Please don't pull the hooks. Oh, they fight get dirty, up. eh? Get up. Come on. Oh, come on. Okay. Coming in. Coming in hot. Well done, buddy. Oh, far out. That's awesome. <laughs> so good. Yes. Oh wow, if you thought the first one was good, have a go at this slab. Look how thick they are. <laughs> wow, that is an awesome, awesome fish. Four of these, we might be beat today. It's sort of mid-morning now, and we're just hitting the last of the shag trees. They're running out. There's not many more opportunities to get that shag bite. It's the same deal here. We're just going to keep moving through these trees really quickly. We're just targeting specific trees early because you're nearly guaranteed a bite under each of those trees because the sooties, they're opportunistic feeders. They come up and they eat that shag poo and that shag poo's got fish bits and pieces and all the goodness. So they just capitalise on an early, easy feed and we're going to capitalise on what they're doing. We've pushed out just a little bit wider. There was only two or three shags in this tree, but I've made a cast. I've just hit the branch, so I was like, well, I think Matt might have even said good cast. Again, two little short, sharp hops, a couple of wines, and bang. Yep. You all right? Well, go in, go in. Oh, no, no, he's out. He's out. Quite good, quite good. As it's took off deep, I've known immediately the weight of this fish, this is the one we want. Let's upgrade this 31. Nice fish. They definitely bigger fish here, brother. <laughs> Plan's coming off. Thanks for cutting us off, BCF. <laughs> Plan is working perfectly. Picking lines good. That's more the model we're after. Look at them big ones. Just perfect little hook up with that curl tail gulp. Very good fish, stoked. At that stage, we were trying to tie up the bonus point with a big fish. The thing That's with these crack. fish is look at the girth and the width. They're, you know, they're a good fighting fish, but when they've got that much power and that much muscle behind them, they're hard to stop in this gnarly timber. So we'll get him back and we're gonna catch some more. Thanks, mate. You. Yeah, so we're cruising along. I've got two fish already on the board. I'm thinking, this is not too bad. I'm looking at Liam, I'm thinking, this guy's gonna come good real soon because he's a gun angler, he's done all this before. So I'm thinking, I'm just really happy I've contributed so far. That was a sooty. I'm not getting any bites, but I know the areas I'm choosing and the boat positioning is correct because Mark's catching fish, which is building my confidence. I know if I just keep my head down and it's only a matter of time before I get that pluck. Yep, yep. Go in there, please. Yep. Right, back off there. You got me around. Come on, mate. 
How deep is it? Can I feel it out with the net? No, you won't be able to. It's gone. I just busted off a leader. I've uh, retied a jig head on, and then in my peripheral, in my right peripheral again, I see Mark's rod tick over, load up, and he goes, Yep, I'm on. Yep. 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 This is the start we're dreaming of, and the rookie, he's holding his own, so it's great. Short little tussle, get it in the net, high fives all around. We've got our third fish now, it's great. What would you like to put? Good, good. Get up here. Thank you, Tom. Good work, mate. Good work. Little one. Yeah, you'll do. You'll do. Little one's better than none. Righto, just landed number three. He's only a puppy, but it's your biggest four, so we need to start with four and go from there. We've got four hours to upgrade. If we can get four early, mm -hmm. we're looking good. So. so I land number three. So right now, the rookie's on three. I'm looking at the skipper thinking, righto, should I stop fishing now, or what's going to happen? Fish. Yep. Oh, it's a barra. Oh, it's gone. <sighs> what is happening? So Mark, he's definitely settled down now. Three fish in the net. It was a dream start for a rookie, and I can just feel that tension completely drop away. He's in the zone. He's working lures slowly. Now I'm starting to think, this. I'm here. I've been here a few times. You're going to leave a fish for me. So we work down to this next set of snags. I put a uh, cast in tight. And I was thinking, it's going to get hit, it's going to get hit, and then there's that stereotypical crunch of a sooty grunner in the Angler Dam. Yep. I set the hook and I'm like, thank God I finally got a fish. <sighs> Go that way. I've got it. So, yeah, I've got it. I just want to cut it off, you know? Yeah. yeah. We're good now. I'm cranking it in and I'm like, whew, it's a, it's a good fish, and Mark's on the net, and I'm like, this sits better with me. Mark on the net, me with a big fish. I get it up to the surface, and that's when I actually realise how big this fish is. Oh my god, it's huge. And I think Mark probably hadn't seen a sooty that big or knew that they could get to that condition up until now. Oh, yes! <laughs> yes! It was a really good feeling when that fish hit the net, and that's when spirits were really high. One of Youngler's finest. <laughs> that's a, that is, look at the guts on it. So not only is it a great fish, but it's our number four. So we've just got our bag. <laughs> Whoa! No better feeling. First AFC round and we've got our bag. It's quite early on, so I was pretty excited. That was so much fun. It took me a long time. The rookie's been uh, with the mojo this morning, which is, let's be honest, we all know the rookie usually goes all right. So we're going to put it down. Team beats, yes. We're, uh, we're on fire at the moment. Oh, come back, buddy. It's unreal. I love this place. Get in. Yep. Oh, he's in there. Go in, go in, go in. Since last year, having the opportunity to fish the Mackay region, it's been on our mind a lot. And to get back here and to experience more of the impoundments, the diversity of this place is just ridiculous. No, he's not out. He's around something. Oh, go on. <laughs> like a... Yeah, the, that's the coolest thing about Mackay, you know. You've got offshore fishing, you've got inshore estuary fishing, and the greatest thing is you've got dams like Yungala, Timbra, and Kinchin. Oh, there's one there. If you're a freshwater angler, you've got to come and get your fix in Mackay. There's one. Oh, that's trouble. <laughs> just hold the pressure on him. Just yeah. step back and I can get, I'll get you in there. This guy really put on a turn. He, he was getting into the timber, he was pulling himself out. You know, it was a real battle. I'm getting him, mate, I'm getting him. A big one. Real big one. I need this fella. Yes! Yes! Yes. yes, what a fight. That is awesome. Yes. So yeah, mid-morning, we're upgrading. We've got another decent fish and only two small ones. But to be upgrading at such an early point in the session, we were, we were very pumped. We got lots of time to make this happen. That is awesome. Have a look at this thing. Mitchell got an absolute horse before and we backed it up with another one. So these are the bites that you come to Yungala for. Look at that fish. 
<laughs> Measure him, bro. This thing's massive. I was absolutely wrapped. And again, high fives, so we're cheering. We're catching big fish. Our movement had paid off and we're starting to really put some runs on the board. Oh, mate, let this guy go. <laughs> so even though we're putting fish in the boat, you've always, you're always thinking what the other team's doing. In the back of your mind, you're just wondering what would have happened if we got to the spot the BCF's on at the moment, you know? Are they putting the big ones in the boat? So it's a bittersweet feeling to have four, but you're still wondering what these boys are up to. Good cast. Yeah, that's the exact cast. They're <laughs> the ones that get crunched. Yeah. Yeah, so the pressure's on. We haven't had the best start to our campaign, but we're both good anglers. We both work well as a team. Um, so I think we can turn it on when we need to. Yep. Next time on AFC, yep. oh. the battle continues. It was like a 75 centimetre footy. Yep, yep. In what will be a thrilling conclusion to round one of AFC 16 yep. at Yungala Dam. Oh.